What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the James Conner career and look at that they updated the player models James Conner looks like freaking James Conner and I don't know if you noticed on the Bears but Trubisky looks like Mr. Trubisky now not like an old freaking man but that's beside the point this is our focus today James Conner whoo it's been a minute since I uploaded I'm trying to really just bang out some Bears videos but for those of you who paid attention to the last video, James Conner popped off. Three touchdown performance, which was good enough for the player of the week. Now, how will he follow it up against a divisional rival? The Cincinnati Bungles. This is a hated rival. Looking for Vontez Perfect to hunt heads and kneecaps as that man always does. So we'll see the Steelers come out first and ten, and why not start it with a handoff to James Conner. He'll pick up six yards, and that is how we will start the day. An early third and short for the Steelers. Ben goes to old reliable Vance McDonald, who, unlike in real life, is super productive in this one. First down. Single back formation. The man back there is James Conner. They'll go handoff to Conner. He's got a lot of open space on first down. He picks up 10 yards and a first down. Very nice, 21 yards already on just three carries. They'll go to Connor again up the middle. They'll pick up seven yards this time. Good running there from James Connor. He's been carrying the rock quite a bit this year and they continue to use him as he, ooh, failed block there as Vincent Ray gets Ben in the backfield. For a big loss. Now they're looking third down and 21. Roethlisberger, of course, to the air. He'll find Martavis Bryant short of the sticks, but he fights through contact, and he will get them a first down. Martavis Bryant has been extremely impressive in this so far. Again, unlike in real life. There's Vance McDonald again. Ben Roethlisberger starting up five of six on this draft for 58 yards. Second and goal, they'll go handoff to Connor, who is tripped up down at the three. So they'll face third and goal. Bend to pass, quick throw. He's got Xavier Grimble, who is the second tight end playing in place of the injured Jesse James. I completely blanked on his name for a minute there. But yes, Xavier Grimble gets the touchdown and the Steelers are up seven nothing. Cincinnati get the field goal, so it's seven to three and we'll see Connor in this offense right back out on the field. Connor picks up two on that run. Lead to an early third and eight. Rolf is for the passing. Good protection, and he just threw it to no one. So, Cincinnati gets a field goal again, so it's a one point game. Ben to throw. Finds Brian, who runs right into a man that was blocking on the screen, and that's gain of a yard. So again, a third and long upcoming for the Steelers. Roethlisberger to pass, and there's some miscommunication there with him and Connor as we have to get rid of the ball again. Good field position to start though now as Connor will take the inside handoff. He gets four yards. And I was thinking, I, it, it's weird how you don't really see the defense playing in this, but you know, this is James Connor. Third and six, screen out to Connor. He gets the first down. Tries the back juke. He's been trying it a little bit lately. It hasn't been working, but it's a first down regardless. Inside the two minute warning, it's first and 10. Ben trying to escape and he will go down. There's an injury. It's not Ben though, it's Vincent Ray who tried to sack him. That's what happens when you sack Ben, you get injured. Second and 20 now, Ben throwing, finds Antonio Brown who will come up close to the first down marker. They mark him inches shy. The third and inches, will we see Connor? No, it's Ben to the air, finding Vance McDonald, finding a first down. The clock is moving and the chains are moving. Trying to get some points to extend their lead before the half. Ben with time, sliding, and he's gonna go down. A sack on the play, there's an injury. Of course we don't see who it is. I really don't like that with this new man. That's the one problem that I do have with it. Nice block pick up there by Connor. There's McDonald fighting, end zone, touchdown Steelers. They will get on the board before the half. Look at that beautiful chop block from James Connor. And look at this nasty stiff arm from Vance McDonald. He was not going to be denied. So it's first and 10 now. We are in the second half and we do have a tie game. Cincinnati putting up actually a bit of a fight. I don't think this handoff get a first down. 
He's up close to 50. Connor now motioning out. Wow, the receiver. Interesting. Third and two. Ben. Of course he's going to throw Vance McDonald. Who else? Is, is there anybody else on this team to throw to? If it's not Vance McDonald? Another third down for Ben. Again, airing it out. And hey, that's Martavis Bryant. The other good guy on our team. Basically, this entire team is just full of studs and superstars. Ben Roethlisberger, Tavis Bryant, AB, and of course James Conner. Ben throwing, finding a uh, Roosevelt Nix. Uh, yep, that, that was a fullback. Second and eight. Ben again throwing, looking end zone, finding Vance McDonald. That man is a touchdown machine, and the Steelers extend their lead. It is a touchdown lead as. The Bengals seem to be the only team that's actually learned how to score against us. But they do turn it over, and we're going to get the ball with great field position as Connor fights through a would be tackle, and he's down to the two yard line as we near the end of the third quarter. Apparently, they take me off of the field. Uh, ben finds Martavis Bryant, though. His fourth passing touchdown on the day. So that's 24, 28 to 14. My goodness. Good thing our offense is exploding because for once, the other team has learned how to put up points. We are here in the fourth quarter as the handoff will go to James Connor here on third and two. He'll go to Connor again, and Connor has the space still on his feet. Picking up 10 yards when all he needed was two. He's carrying the rock quite a bit, but hasn't really seen a lot of success. Third and eight, and again, miscommunication with Ben and Connor on these outs. He just kind of overthrew him on that one. Again, a turnover. Steelers get the ball, first and goal. Connor makes it look too easy. He's in for his first touchdown of the day. We have we had 28 points and it took 35 from the game. Cincinnati strikes again though, but they do turn it over. So there's James Connor, you know, running outside, doing what he does best. Actually, no, this one wasn't a turnover. They attempted an onside kick, but we did recover it. I'm getting, getting my facts messed up. Second down and eight will go handoff to Connor. He's got blocking in James Connor. What a scamper in. 32 yards untouched. Does the little dead dive, you know, playing dead in the end zone. The, the typical. Apparently he was really tired after running 32 yards untouched. So James Connor has two touchdowns on the day now. The Steelers are just popping off. Cincinnati scores again, but it just doesn't really matter. As Connor goes right side, and he's got another nice run. 34 seconds up. I don't know why Cincy's taking a time. This game's over. We're just running the ball trying to kill some clock. Hand off to Connor. Up the middle. He's still on his feet. And Connor finally brought down after a gain of 24. We're trying to kill the clock here. What's going on? 26 seconds to go. Hand off outside. Connor breaks two tackles. And James Connor out sprinting a man into the end zone for touchdown number three. That's his 10th of his career, and obviously the 10th of his season as well. James Conner just popped off in the fourth quarter for three touchdowns, and uh, you know, I guess someone had to come in and seal the deal, and that man was James Conner. Cincinnati put up one hell of a fight. 28 points is the most I've ever seen by a simulation team. But uh, you know, the Steelers were just on top of their game. Ben threw for four touchdowns, and James Conner ran for three. Man, um, I don't really, there's not really a lot to say here. Uh, I think most of you watching, I'm sure, understand that this whole simulation is not, unfortunately, it's not as realistic as it should be. I mean, it's great. The Steelers are now, what, 7-0? That's great, but I mean, it's just, it's at the point where it almost feels a little too easy, but I'm having fun doing it, and that, I think, is the most important part. We're having fun doing it. James Conner is going off in his rookie career. And besides, it's an alternate universe, you know? Le'Veon Bell would never be traded to the New York Giants. Let's just be real. So this is an alternate universe. So yeah, James Conner can pop off. The Steelers offense can pop off. The Steelers, they can be 7-0. Why not? Whew. There are the stats. 176 yards on the ground to end it all. How much of that belonged to Conner? Oh. 179 of it. So yeah, I, I said he was not doing too well with 80 yards, but then he just popped off for 99 yards. Right? Is that is my math right? It may be, it may not be, but 179 yards and three touchdowns. And that is enough to get him 
player of the week again back to back for James Conner he is turning heads so now you've got to think hey let's get him that quick development right right he was already doing this good let's get him that quick development well Madden patched and apparently quick development costs more now you know why not you know so we are just 367 experience away from getting that quick development for James Conner and then we can really just start to build James Conner into a freak he already is he's already beating up everybody so we move on we're 7-0 facing the 3-3 and -3 Detroit Lions another team that could arguably put up some points on offense is one of them despite being 3-3 and -3, they are on a 3 game win streak so this is a team that uh should uh, you know, we should probably kind of look out for this team. This team could, could surprise us. They're kind of hot right now, but nobody is as hot as the Steelers. So thank you guys for watching. My name is Sarah McCoy. Leave a like, comment, and uh, I'll see you guys next week as we take on the Detroit Lions. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Back, back, back from the dead.